It's time for zombies and ass wells. Prepare yourself accordingly. Yeah, fuck. Now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the walls. Say, hey, now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the ass wells. Hey, now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the walls. Hey, now, seek the walls. Everybody, everybody, seek the ass wells. Welcome once again to the Dave, Dave and Angus, Angus Show. Show. I'm Dave and he's Angus. I'm the pretty charismatic and talented one and he's a guy named Dave. Right, and for the third straight week in a row, we've got another confusing one. This is the last chance for you scat sacks to seek the ice walls with I'm, us. My last chance to reiterate that the world is round and that there's no ice walls and then we're probably going to just, you know, sink in the ocean. No. Highly likely. Well, whatever. Just like the last two weeks, we're also going to do our post-apocalyptic. This is episode six and I guess this would constitute the finale of our little movie. Do we tie it up in a nice little bow for you or are you going to cry like those Game of Thrones cunts? It's Game of Thrones. What are you talking about? Well, people that don't tell stories get really mad at people that tell stories for the stories not being the way the people that don't tell stories want the stories to be, Dave. Okay, stay tuned for post apocalyptic. But in the meantime, we're almost ready to get the fuck out there and get them ice walls. Yeah, I just don't want to end up at the bottom of the ocean and I can't wait for this to be over. Your optimism is duly noted, Dave. The world is round, it's not hollow, all of this shit is nonsense. What you're doing is crazy. Don't make an anger slapper, Dave. No, don't touch me, motherfucker. Oh, but slapper, Dave. I'm fucking serious. Everybody's a little tense about the ice walls. But as your captain, let me reassure you that Angus Blackburn Jr. is looking out for you. He can't even change his socks. You don't need to change your socks when you're seeking the ice walls, Dave. The fuck you don't? We're on a little boat. The Illuminati scum fucker's not that little, Dave. No, you haven't even bought the boat yet. Well, the harsh reality that we learned, Dave, is that our audience is not filled with a bunch of multi-billionaires. Right. So what we had to do is rent this bitch. Oh, and the guy we rented it from, he used to live in this boat, so he's like, yeah, you can call it the Illuminati scum fucker. I hope you guys all listening that invested in this, you can see how this is going to turn out really, really bad. Because people have faith, Dave. Which is very unwise in this particular instance. Yeah, P.S. I've just recently learned that we have to fly everybody to Argentina. Wait, what? Yeah, apparently the ice walls are quite a distance away, and if we were to sail from, like, where we are right. to where, like, Antarctica is supposed to be, yeah. well, I guess we wouldn't be able to do that. I guess how the fuck are you going to fly everybody to Argentina? Well, it all starts with our ice wall seeker level blue. That's ten bucks. Holy fuck. And you get your two boarding passes. One's a ticket, and one's a sticker, and you can use that to get to seek the ice walls training courses. Yeah, which are also terrible. It's terrible if you don't get trained. It's terrible all around. But boarding passes are being shipped around the country as we speak. Unbelievable. And tomorrow, September 23rd, Friday at noon, we're making the first two trains training courses live so you can get your ass trained right now. Terrible. With another one to follow and then a tour of the ship to follow that. This feels like it's gotten way out of hand. We're seeking Argentina and it starts at the blue level. Like I said, it's only 10 bucks. What a waste of $10. Then there's the red super seeker level, Dave. Which has to be an even bigger waste of money. It's only $25 and not only do you get the boarding passes and an itinerary. Yeah, you didn't say that you get an itinerary with the blue one. Well, I fucking am now, Dave. Yikes. But you also get a certificate of a completion of the Ice Wells training courses. Well, how the fuck do you know people even paid attention to it? It's an honor system, Dave. You can't fight the scum if you don't have the honor system. All right, this should be interesting. But you also get a lanyard with your super secret color and all that shit on yeah, it. Huge waste of money. But then there's the gold and the royal levels, the VIP levels. Yeah, huge waste of money. Yeah, the gold's 50 bucks and you get a signed photo of Dave and I. Yeah, the world is round. Plus you get all the other shit in the gold lanyard and all that shit. Everyone's gonna die. Whatever. Then there's the royal purple VIP. The biggest waste of money of all. And not only do you get all the other shit that I just mentioned as an ultra mega seeker. Right. Wait, did I mention the gold was an extra super seeker? Yeah, this is super unorganized. Whatever. Now we're on the ultra mega seeker. $100. You get all the shit, plus you get a special thank you from Dave now. Where I beg you not to do this. Where Dave's a little bitch. The world is fucking round. Plus, you'll be named a producer on the show for the three shows that we're going to do for Seeking the Ice Wells. I cannot believe we're doing this. Yeah, and Angus makes dreams come true, Dave. Yeah, your own deluded dumb dreams that are going to get us all killed. Yeah, probably. Whatever, go to scatcast.com, go to our shop, and you can find these Seek the Ice Wells tickets. Seriously, don't do it. Seriously, do do it. And no, I said do do. Right. All right, it's time for post apocalyptic. Yeah, the world is round. Everybody's dead. the zombies. Everybody's dead. Except for zombies. Everybody's dead. Except for zombies. Except for me and Dave and my dad and my kid. That's about it. It's the end, end, end of the world, Dave. It's the end of the world. And it sucks. Yep. It's the end of the world. I don't like it, but I'm here to live it. He's gonna die. Whatever. It's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. It fucking sucks. It's the end of the world. Shut up. Angus Blackburn Jr. Is this on? Well, the fucking light's on. Yeah, but the light's red, Dave. Yeah, we've been over that. Whatever. Angus Blackburn Jr. here. I'm Dave. Zombie apocalypse. Yeah, shit sucks. Shit does suck, Dave, but we have the power to save the world. Right, well, it did work on Dennis. Dennis was a zombie, then we gave him my daddy's moonshine, now he's a guy named Dennis. Although he seems to be pretty bedridden. You know, Dennis just might naturally be a lazy cunt. I don't think he's well. Whatever, Dave and I are going to save the world, but first we're going to save this neighborhood. Right. And then our city, then the world. Right, well, we're looking for a zombie, and we're going to see if we can get this moonshine in its mouth. Now, this is our third operation, and the last two didn't 
didn't go so good. Now, luckily, this is Spokane, and a lot of these zombies' teeth fell out before the zombie apocalypse. Right, meth is a hell of a drug. Right, well, the problem is getting the moonshine into their mouths. Yeah, my son just walked up to Dennis and just poured it in there. Now, the tactic has proven to be pretty unsuccessful for us. The zombie chickens took to it real good. They just drank it right out of a bowl, and now they lay normal eggs. Right, which I think you'll agree tastes way better than them zombie eggs. It turns my stomach to think about it. Right, well, today we're going to field trial three methods, hopefully. Right, if we live. To get my daddy sweet moonshine that we call ass club. It's pretty much jet fuel. Inside them motherfucking zombies' mouths. I don't think any of the methods are going to work, but we'll see. Fuck you, Dave. I've been practicing with my slingshot. I think I can get these little gelatin capsules inside the mouth of one from like 30 yards away. Yeah, that one's probably not going to work. I feel like this motherfucking super soaker's going to work. I think that one's got the best chance. Whatever, Dave. These moonshine water balloons might work, too. Considering you've broken three out of the five that you're carrying, well, I, I doubt it. It's a field test, Dave. Well, we've only been out here for ten minutes. There's not going to be any balloons left. Eat shit, Dave. Whatever. Angus and I spotted a zombie just kind of walking around here the other day. Yeah. Oh, there he is right there, Dave. Uh, looks like he has his teeth, too. All right, let's field test this bitch. Deploying slingshot. All right. Smile at me, motherfucker. Smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I missed him there. Yep. Blew his mind, though. Right. Let's try it again. This moonshine's kind of a finite resource. We're field testing, Dave. I know, but you gotta be really good with a slingshot, and you're not. Let me try again, Dave. Why don't you try practicing with a rock? I have been practicing, Dave. Okay, then I think we can scratch this one off. Yeah, eat a bushel of dingleberries, Dave. Hold on. Smile, Yuck. you cunt. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Where the fuck are you aiming? Oh, shut up, Dave. I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Yeah, this is going in your face hole, motherfucker. Mm. That was even further away from me. See that, Dave? You're not helping. This obviously isn't a practical way to get moonshine in the goddamn thing's mouth. And Angus just has to be one with the projectile. Okay. Yeah, watch and learn, Dave. And Angus is precision. Right. Right. Very precise if you were trying to hit 50 feet away from him. Shut your face, toilet, Dave. Right. Yeah, your neck crapper's flapping, Dave. Dumb. I think Angus just needs to apply more force to it all and get it really taut. Damn, that fork of veins in your forehead looks like it's going to explode. Shut your shit nozzle, Dave. <laughs> And you say you've been practicing. Shut the fuck up, Dave. Well, you see where the zombie is. Whatever, Dave, you try. Right. Let me grab a little ball of moonshine. It's not as easy as it looks, Dave. Yeah, you made it look hard. Yeah, eat the prolapsed anus of a donkey, Dave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Ah. So I hit him in his face and it didn't do anything. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. This weapon's stupid. All right. I think it's time we super soak this asshole. Wait a minute. There's nothing in these super soakers. I'm pretty sure I filled them up, Dave. I guess, did you suck all the moonshine out of these? Let me see that. Yeah. Yeah. Empty. Yeah, I might have. Okay. I still got these water balloons, though, Dave. Now, will you be careful? We're letting the zombie get a little close. This ugly motherfucker here. Take this shit. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> shit. And fuck. then there was one. Are you trying to make an Angus see red, Dave? I just want to see if any of these ideas work. What we need is like a hose. Or like a super soaker, but you drank all the fucking moonshine. We just throw the fucking balloon. Don't rush an Angus when he's field test. Angus, we just throw the fucking balloon. We only got one shot at this, Dave. Yeah, because your eye hand coordination sucks. Yeah, why don't you blow your own piss piccolo, Dave? Take this is on my beer hitch. Well, you actually hit him in the face. Uh, he didn't like that. All right. Well, this is working, I think. He's writhing like Dennis did. Yeah. All right. All right. And those chickens. Ooh, gross. Yeah. That looks like what heartburn feels like. Ooh. I guess he's done. Well, two of them chickens that we gave this shit to died, so maybe this guy died? Remember, it took a while for Dennis to transition back to, you know, being a guy. That's right. So what should we do? I mean, I guess we should wait. Should we go to a commercial break? I mean, probably. <laughs> Most apocalyptic is starring Dave and Angus here on the Skycast Network. We'll return right after these messages. So an Angus has been yapping about these fucking ice walls for about 15 weeks now. And Angus is driven, Dave. And Angus is a deluded dumbass. Says a Dave with a beard. Right, well, I put up with this for a long time, and I'm going to put up with it for a few more weeks. Dave, we're about to be famous for finding something that no one's ever found before except for the Illuminati. Right, well, anyway, I'm not going to put up with it for much longer. Until my book tour comes, Dave. Right, I won't be doing that either. We'll be in a city near no, you soon. Absolutely will not be, but I'm trying to make a point here. Oh, shit, Dave. Go ahead and shit on everybody's parade. Go ahead, man. Four is yours. Right. Well, it's very important to be scientifically literate in this world. Yeah, science is science shit, Dave. Will you shut the fuck up? Right. The floor is yours yeah. again. Caring if what you think is true is very valuable. Unless you like to argue on the internet. Will you seriously shut the fuck up? I concede the floor again. Well, you keep interrupting me, so you're not conceding the floor. You're not giving shit. All right, fine. You may borrow the floor. Right. Well, there is no big conspiracy trying to hide the fact that the world is flat because it's not as round. The scum conspire. Now, there are scientists around the world, different scientists in different countries that don't give a fuck about each other, don't know each other, and they've all come to the same conclusion that the world is fucking round. Well, that's because the scum have a stranglehold on the earth, Dave. Do not listen to people like Angus who don't care if what they think is true. Shit. Be mindful of ideology and agendas and easy-to-digest messages. You gotta ask yourself, to whom does it serve? Well, my message is seek the ass walls, and who does that serve, Dave? Well, it serves your weird delusions and, you know, your ego. Shit, I'll ego your face, Dave. I know you will, and that's part of the problem. Whatever, help us seek the ass walls, scatcast.com, go to our little merch store, and you can get the tickets right there. Or you can go to any reputable science website and find out that not only is the earth not flat and not hollow, but also that we're going to the most dangerous part of the ocean and we're probably all going to die. Yeah, sign up at scottcast.com and get some merch or some shit so we can get some life vests. Yeah, I cannot believe we're doing this next week. Yeah, come be legends with yeah, us. The world is round, goddamn. Right, whatever, let's get back to me kicking zombie asses. Science is important. Yeah, calm down, Dave. <laughs>
And now we return to Post Apocalyptica starring Dave and Angus, whatever. So how long are we supposed to wait here, Dave? I don't know, this seems longer than with Dennis. Well, maybe we gave Dennis more? Yeah, your kid put like a whole shot in his mouth. Well, and Angus soaked the shit out of this guy, so... Yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait a little longer. Well, even in a post-apocalyptic hellscape, Dave, and Angus doesn't like to be bored. Right, well, even in a post-apocalyptic hellscape, and Angus is insufferable. Yeah, I got your back, Dave. Wait, what? Maybe we should do one of our famous top fives, Dave. What are you talking about? From when we were famous podcasters, remember? Yeah, I don't think we were ever famous. We were underground legends, Dave. Yeah, only in your head, Angus. Whatever, Dave. What, uh, top five favorite pro golfers? Uh, you don't fucking know anything about golf. Or our top five favorite rom-coms. Uh, neither of us know anything about those. All right, fine. Whatever, Dave. But those were two terrible ideas. Top five favorite vegetables. What? All right, how about this? What would you want for your last meal? If I could have anything. You're on death row. It's your last day, and they give you whatever you want. I don't know. I'd have to think about it, I guess. You know what I would do, Dave? Something over the top and disgusting, I'm sure. I would go out with my final eating contest. And you'd eat a bunch of sheep testicles? Oh, sheep testicle your face, Dave. Okay. Don't look at me like that. Doesn't make sense. Oh. I would take testicles of a sheep and I would shove them yep. in your face and right. bang your little face with them. <laughs> okay. But I would eat as many Arby's roast beef sandwiches, just the regular, not the big old fuckers, no, but the, the regular, regular uh, Dave. Okay. I'd order 50 and see if I could eat them all. I feel like there's something evil about that, but I can't put my finger on it. Well, I told you what my last meal would be. It'd be Arby's roast beef sandwich sale in my face. Right. And I'd just douse myself in Arby's and horsey sauce. Yikes. All right, so I showed you mine. You show me yours, Dave. What, what do you think? Oh, uh, I would probably have a nice big plate of sushi. There's not an ounce of hillbilly left in you, is there, Dave? What? You're driving around a post apocalypse Apocalyptic Prius, Dave. Actually, I'm using gas cars because you can put alcohol in them. Don't contradict an Angus when he's calling you hippie, Dave. Well, I mean, that's what I'm doing. I remember when this all started, you're like, hey, get the apples and oranges before they go bad. What, you don't know how to grow this shit? I'm surprised you don't have some quinoa in your pocket, Dave. You got some quinoa in your pocket, Dave? That wouldn't be the stupidest thing to have in my pocket. Whatever, you went all coasty on us, and now you're going to have sushi as your last meal, Dave. I love sushi. What the fuck's wrong with that? Well, why don't you just dye your hair purple no. and tattoo a hammer and sickle on your face, now, Dave? You asked me what my favorite food was, basically, and that's my favorite food is fucking sushi. What does that have to do with fucking a hammer and sickle. I don't know, Karl Marx. You're the guy with the beard and the fish fetish. I don't know what to say to that. Whatever, bitch. I think this guy's dead. Can we go home now? Well, fucking check his pulse at least. All right, but hey, zombie. Zombie guy. You alive, bitch? Oh, um, shit, he is alive. Hey, my name's Angus. I saved you. Uh, Angus? Yeah, man, you were just a zombie, but then I made you not a zombie because I'm kick-ass. Oh, Angus Blackburn. Junior. Yeah, man. See, I'm, I told you I'm a legend, Dave. Shut the fuck up, Angus. Do we know you, sir? Is that you, Dave? Uh, Dave, this zombie oh, knows says. who you are. Uh, it's me, Steve. Uh, do we know oh, any Steve, Dave? It's Steve the engineer, Angus. Oh, Steve the cunt? Angus. Damn, Steve, you look like shit. Post Apocalyptica starring David Angus here on the Skycast Network will return right after these messages. A hey, script keeper here. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for doing what you're doing. Uh, I know you guys all know that we're raising money to do cartoons and this is our fun way to do it. But I also want to say don't worry if you can't. There is some bonus content that you're going to miss, but don't worry about it. We still got lots of Ice Wall stuff and we're going to celebrate the Ice Walls together. Zach, there are no Ice Walls. Right. Well, there's no Steve either. Fair enough. Anyway, thank you again for doing this for the cartoons and, you know, it costs a lot of money to do cartoons. We're certainly not going to raise it all this time, but I'll tell you what, we are very, very close to being able to do some pretty cool shit and that is 100% because of you. Please stop giving him money. Alright, now back to Dave and Angus in post-apocalyptic. Zombie dog. And now we return to Post Apocalyptica starring Dave and Angus here on the blah 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 whatever. Hurry up, guys, come on. <laughs> Get the fuck away from the house quick. Just worry about you, you fuck. I'm already way ahead of you. What the fuck was that all about? Language boy. <laughs> Was that Dennis? Yes. Did Dennis turn back to a zombie? I'm yes. pretty sure that was Dennis. Stop. Just everybody we're uh, far enough away. What the fuck just happened there? I think Dennis and Steve are both now zombies again. Did they crash through the window or some shit? No, they came in from the bedroom, but they broke some stuff, I guess. I just remember watching a Steven Seagal movie and then shit my pants and now we're here. Well, they kind of snuck up on Anybody us. Anybody grab a weapon? Yeah, before or after I shit my pants, Dad. Nah, I didn't grab a weapon. Well, now what do we do? I'm going back in there and taking back my house. Well, goddamn, Dad. We just all ran out of there screaming. Well, they're in there breaking my shit. Listen. All right, shit. Well, what? We're unarmed. Dad, what do you propose? I'm going to go in there and get my gun and shoot him in the face. Now, hold on, that's Steve from our office. Yeah, it's obvious we can save him, Dad. Hold on. I'm sick of this zombie shit. I'm just going to shoot him in the fucking head. Dad, we can save these people. We just got to figure out the right amount of shit to give them. Yeah, it is weird that Dennis and Steve both turned into zombies kind of around the same time. Yeah, but Dennis has been with us for days. Yeah, and Steve just turned today. I gave Dennis a lot. Yeah, I don't think Steve swallowed a lot from the water balloon. Well, I'd just like to say, and Angus Achilles did his besticles. Right. Thank you. That was very helpful. I think it's obvious that they're going to need a whole bunch of moonshine, and I can't make enough for them, so 
so we're going to have to just shoot him in the face anyway. Hold on, Gus. There's not enough beans for all of us. It's always got to be about the beans, Dad. Don't touch my beans, motherfucker. I thought we were talking about moonshine. Where did the beans come from? My dad's always kind of been about the beans, Dave. Right, whatever. Can we come up with another plan of attack here? Oh, here we go, Major Dave. We could probably get to Chugsy. Do we have any weapons in Chugsy? That machine gun. Do we have any moonshine in Chugsy? I did put some in the gas tank to get us home. Well, your moonshine was feeling Chugsy? It's also pretty good at removing paint. Now, maybe if we gave him a whole bunch of moonshine. I'm pretty sure that any more than two shots of ass glow at a time will kill a donkey. Yeah, probably. All right, well, don't we kind of owe it to Steve to, you know, help out? Steve was a dick, Dave. Well, he didn't like you, but I got along with him fine. Steve thought you were a cunt, Dave. No, he was my secret Santa last year. He was really cool. Suck your own fuck stick, Dave. <laughs> if, I mean, if I could. Right. All right, and Angus is taking charge of this situation. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, boy. I'm going to siphon the ass glow out of Chugs. There's probably not much left. Right, well, lucky for you guys, I left a bunch of balloons laying around on the ground so we can just use those. Well, you know, being a slob helped us out. I knew one day that my litter bug nature would come in handy, Dave. I'm pretty sure I hate you, Angus. We'll return to Post Apocalyptica starring Dave and Angus right after these important messages. I love Eat Fresh. It is delicious and can be brought to my house for me. I also like Eat Fresh. It is better than actual food. I eat fresh every day and think the lasagna is good. I am actually a fan of the lasagna as well. Why go to grocery stores and eat food that is fresh when you can eat food that says it's fresh? That podcast hosts are saying that is good. I like podcast food. So when I think food, I think Eat Fresh. I hate farmer's markets. Eat Fresh. Get your frozen pre-cooked meals today. I was eating fresh earlier and I totally don't feel sick inside. And I am also sure that my diarrhea is not from this weird food. Namaste. I told you those fucking messages were important. Now back to post-apocalyptica. I want you to pay attention, R.C. This is a very important part of cinematic history. Dad, I don't want to watch time come up again. Yeah, you're going to watch it right now and pay attention. 50,000 volts, motherfucker. Yeah, have a nice day. Now check this part out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dad. You know, your dad used to be able to do the splits like that. Yeah, okay, Dad. I guess. Not now, Dave. I'm John Claude Van Damming. I guess it's your turn to watch Steve. Now, what part of Van Damming do you not understand, Dave? I mean, the whole concept, I guess. Yeah, I don't get it either. Oh, shit, I'm starting to think my dad was right. We should have probably just shot Steve in the head. We already had to shoot Dennis in the head, so let's try and keep Steve alive. Well, Dennis was a biter, Dave. I know that. We have to figure out how much moonshine they need and how much it takes to last. Fine, let's shoot Steve in the head and find some other guy and try it out on him. It's your turn to watch Steve. Just make sure he doesn't turn into a zombie. I don't want to babysit a guy I hated from the before four times, Dave. Will you just fucking do it? <laughs> How did everybody make it out okay? I don't know. Why is my house on fire, you cunts? Dad. Oh, Percy, come here. This sucks. It does suck. What the fuck just happened? I'm pretty sure Steve just turned into a zombie and, you know. How does that equate to a raging house fire? And Angus doesn't know the math, Dave. Right, well, weren't you supposed to be watching Steve? I was, and then I started a diehard marathon. You motherfuckers burned down my house. No, man, Steve's a motherfucker. Angus, you were supposed to be watching Steve. No, there's no use in pointing fingers now. No, because it was your fault. I'm pointing my finger at you, you dick idiot. All right, well, no use continually pointing the finger at me, you know. Oh, shit, did Steve make it out, or is he in there, like, burning alive? You know, I can't say that I know. You motherfuckers burned down my house. Again, I think it was zombie Steve. Well, we should probably move Chugsy in the vehicles. Now just wait until the fire spreads to my moonshine shit. Oh, shit, are we in danger of, like, being blown up or something? Might blow up half the state, I don't know. God damn it. I guess you were supposed to watch Steve. Whatever, man, it happened in an instant. He started doing zombie things, and, you know, then one thing led to another, and everything's on fire, and now we're fucking screwed. Right. Oh, there's Steve. Yeah. Great job, Steve. Well, at least Steve lived there. Yes. Way to go, Steve, you dickhead. And we'll return to David Angus in Post-Apocalyptica right after these important messages. Cat Shit on the Floor Records presents the brand new album from Anarchists Against Anarchy. Just do what the government says, you asshole. Featuring super edgy tracks like Snowflake. Super nihilistic songs like Worst Things in the World, that's about you. Then there's the live favorite, the douchebag anthem. Raise your hands if you were a douche. Yo, yo, you were a douche. Raise your hands if you were a douche. 
And then there's the random song that just picks on Christianity because fuck my dad. Christians make it, yeah, yeah. Christians make it, yeah, 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 yeah. Christians make it, yeah, yeah. Then this song's about like the government or something, I don't know. Just call me a freak, just one of the big. Just call me a beast, my shepherds. Better call it a priest or elect a thief. Better hire a creep to save us. Then there's your controversial hit song, which isn't really very compassionate, even though they're supposed to be like super, super compassionate. So it's kind of weird and we all kind of feel like, what? Meptars, Meptars, skeet down the alleyway from side to side. Meptars, Meptars. Get the brand new super edgy album Do What the Government Says You Assholes Available now out of the trunk of my car I'm in Pioneer Square in Seattle like every other Wednesday But not before like 1.30 I told you we'd return to David Angus and post apocalyptica right after those messages, and here we are. Right, so I realize this is not ideal. Angus, I don't want to live in Chugsy. I know it still smells like my kid took a shit in here. Are you knocking it off, Dad? Now, you gotta live with this since we gotta live with it. I don't know how long we can keep a zombie tied up in the back of an RV. Now, especially Steve the zombie, since he won't shut the fuck up, Steve, you stupid. Nobody's stupider than you, except for maybe Tim. Man, I wonder if Tim is out there being a zombie. Yeah, right? I wonder. Shit. I bet he is. Shit, I hope we get to kill zombie Tim. You know, we could have our pick of any RV we wanted. Yep, I know. Yeah, so we got Chugsy that breaks down six times a day. Chugsy's our friend. Now, Chugsy is a bunch of metal and plastic that smells like your poop, boy. Fucking stop with that. Now, hey, look, the spotlight's back. We never did figure out what the fuck that was about. Now, we learned we want to stay the fuck out of the city. Now, I told you we don't want to meet the survivors in this shit, Dave. Well, it's pretty obvious people are not at their best currently. Now, hands across the zombie apocalypse, Dave. Now, I just said I agree. Well, I'm just rubbing it in your face, Dave. There's an auto mechanic shop just up here. Where is this? This is. Oh, shit. It's Teddy Theodore's. I'm not Teddy Theodore. Now, whether he's a zombie or not, it's going to be annoying. I don't want to go. It's the closest mechanic shop for miles. Be sure you know what we need. Pretty sure. And you're sure he'll have it. I don't have a fucking clue what he's got in there, but maybe. Angus, give me the fucking machine gun, you son of a bitch. Now why the fuck is this place on fire? Well, Teddy Theodore was a zombie dad. So why is everything on fire? Because zombie shit, man. Well, what the fuck you were you shooting at? Just wanted to make sure he was dead, man. Now, remember, you need express written permission to use this machine gun. Yeah, we agree. Yeah, whatever, Dad. You're the one that set it down. I was trying to find the parts we need. Well, did you find them? I hope so. Well, we should probably hurry back to Chugsy since we left Steve in there. Whatever, Dave. I left the window cracked. Angus, he's a fucking zombie. Whatever, man. And Angus knows how to throw down with a fucking square knot. Yeah, actually, you suck at knots, Dad. Roger Clemens, Blackburn. What? You're the motherfucker that taught me how to. Uh, square not. Yeah, and you're not a very able learner. You little. Post-apocalyptic blah blah, Dave Negus blah blah. Right after this. Yep. We hope you guys are enjoying post-apocalyptica. Right, well, I know I'm kicking ass in it, because, you know, because you're you. Because an Angus do what an Angus do. Right, well. Right, well, this is the very last time I'm ever going to say anything ever again about asking you to join us on the Ice Wall. Please let us never, ever talk about this again after this is done. Dave, this is going to be the first thing on my Wikipedia page, baby. Right, no one ever make him a Wikipedia page. Eat shit, Dave. Yep, seriously. Whatever, you know how to join. Ten dollars, get you some stuff. Hundred dollars, get you all the stuff. Right, so not worth doing. But whether you get the 10 or the 100, you get your boarding pass and you get your Angus Blackburn Jr. Seek the Ice Walls training courses. Yeah, what a waste of your life. It's not a waste of their lives, Dave. They also get a tour of the Illuminati scum yeah. fucker. Again, a massive waste of money. There are a trillion ways to waste 10 to $100, Dave. Yeah, all superior to this. Yeah, because you're a hater, Dave, and you'll learn all about haters in the Seek the Ice Walls training courses. No, because the world is fucking round and you should not lead an ocean expedition. This is the, the craziest fucking thing I've ever heard in my fucking life ever. Fuck. Right, so Dave's super in. Come join us. No, he wants to fly you to fucking Argentina. Are you kidding? Kidding me? A podcast host wants to take you to Argentina and then put you in the worst place in the entire fucking ocean. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck, I gotta renegotiate my contract. Yeah, good luck, bitch. Now to the conclusion of Post Apocalyptica. We'll see you on them ice The world is fucking round. <laughs> We return to post-apocalyptica starring David Angus and whatever. Here we go. How could red mean on when green means like but good stuff? It's fucking recording. All right, Angus's log, post-apocalyptic shit show day. Fuck, does anybody know what day it is? I really don't. Thursday? You burned all my beans, you cunts. Right, we'll get you some more beans, Dad. Fuck. Now we need all new supplies. Yeah, we shall rebuild. Right. Also, when we got back to Chugsy, we found out that old zombie Steve could slip a square knot. The square knot sucked, Dad. He trashed the whole RV. Yeah, Chugsy's pretty busted up. And then Steve got away, but we found him. Zombies are slow. That's right, boy. Zombies are slow. You 
burned down my house, you can't see. Yeah, zombie apocalypse down. Sucks for everybody. Yeah, well. But we did figure out one cool thing, didn't we, Steve? Just a teaspoon of this Asclo moonshine will make it so that a zombie isn't a cunt. That yeah, makes him docile. I mean, we've really got to be on that shit and give him a dose when he needs it, but you know. Otherwise, he, you know, bites us. Yeah, speaking of that, RC. What? Don't give me what. It's your turn to feed Steve his medicine. I fed him his medicine last time. Well, whose turn is it? Uh, it's Grandpa's turn. Yeah, but your Grandpa's being a little bitch about his beans right now. You ruined my life. Yeah, everybody's life sucked, Dad. Zombie apocalypse. Well, then it's your turn to feed him. Fine. Here comes the moonshine airplane zombie, Steve. <laughs> Right, be on the lookout for zombie moose and those zombie circus animals again. Uh, That's right, zombie Steve. Now, we shouldn't linger here very long. We should come up with a plan. Well, we salvaged most of the moonshine, right? Yeah, but all my tools and my steel, they're all gone. Right, but we can still get drunk. Dad. I'm kidding. Our mission was to save Spokane, and that's what we're going to do. Now, the moonshine stuff's not really working very good. Well, it's keeping zombie Steve pretty steady. Right, zombie Steve? Uh, and while briefly, it brought Dennis and Steve back. Well, I don't think your dad can make enough moonshine to sustain more than, like, a couple people. That's because you burned down all my tools. Why are you yelling at me? I didn't burn anything. It's a zombie apocalypse, Dad. Calm the fuck down. Yeah. Let's prioritize our shit here. Please don't start talking about John claude Van Damme movies. I feel like there's always time for that, though, well, Dave. If we can only save a few people, we should go be very selective about it. Right, so you want me to shoot zombie Steve in the back of the head? I get it. I guess, God damn it. Yeah, Steve gets it, too. No, maybe we should just go looking for people that we know. Yeah, like Mom. Oh, I don't know. And my brothers and sisters. Boy, we look for everyone, and the zombies just do random shit. Did you shoot Mom? I've shot a lot of zombies. Did you shoot Mom? Boy, I don't know. But I've come to terms with the fact that your mom might never be your mom. Well, maybe I haven't. I don't think you looked hard enough. RC boy, your mother and I have brought 13 chitrons into this world, including you. I know. We love each other passionately and stickily. Gross. Yeah, if I thought I could have saved her, I would have. And your brothers and sisters, too. Well, now maybe we can. Well, that means we have to do like a sequel or a season two of this shit. Now, it would be nice to know what those spotlights are about. Or if my moonshine really can save the world. Or if you killed my mom. And Angus's business is not killing the mother of Chitrons. And Angus of Cleese Maximus' business is killing zombies. Oh, boy. And business is good, Dave. Look at me in the eyes, Dave. I don't want to look at you in the eyes. Stare into the Angus. No. So that an Angus can stare back into you, Dave. What the fuck are you talking about, ever? He's been like that since he was two. A babbling bitch idiot. Yeah, I appreciate that, Dave. You were simultaneously an accident, a mistake, and a disappointment. I feel like I appreciate that less. I want to go find mom, Dad. Fine, we'll do a fuck Fucking season two, shit. Post Apocalyptica starring David Angus will be right back after several weeks because these cunts will be doing iceball shit and then we'll be back at some other time after these messages. Everybody's dead. Except the zombies. Everybody's dead. Except for zombies. Everybody's dead. Except there's zombies. Except for me and Dave and my dad and my kid. That's about it. It's the end of the world, Dave. It's the end of the world. And it's such. It's the end of the world. I don't like it, but I'm here to live it. He's gonna die. Whatever it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. It fucking sucks. It's the end of the world. I don't like it. I'm here to live it. He's gonna die. Shut up. Oh shit, I thought that last segment that we did was the last segment. No. Sounds like we got one more. Well, and Angus has really told everyone all they need to no. know. Are you sure? And Angus is precision, Dave. No, you're really not. Well, Friday, September 23rd at noon, if you got that boarding pass, you can start getting your training. Right, and the first round of these boarding passes have already been mailed, right? Fuck if I know, Dave. You know you're just gonna make people angry, they're gonna get things after the thing's over, and then they're not gonna make the ticket work. The Angus Blackburn Jr. seek the asphalt's training courses, and the tour of the Illuminati Scumfucker will always be on the internet, Dave. No, they're in this special code thing with the QR code. Will they always be able to access them with their multi-pass in the Patreon thing, then whatever. This is the most confusing thing. I can't wait to go back to just driving to states and smelling your stinky ass feet on the road. Yeah, careful what you wish for, Dave. Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's finish this song off with the theme song of the Ice Wilds, baby. Whatever. Now I'm stuck on a boat because of you people. Thanks a lot. Yeah, help us get life vests and some shit. I don't know, like water bottles. Now, again, the world is fucking round. I'll see you on the ship. Captain Angus out. Let me rhyme upon my feelings about the weeks ahead We got a boatload of you fuckers that we gotta get fed Because the ship is expensive and the beer ain't free There's a lot of shit we gotta accomplish before we head out to sea We got two weeks of training and a boat to make float We gotta raise a lot of money so an Angus can glow Illuminati scum fucker, here we go Illuminati scum fucker, grab the oar Hey, now, seek the walls Everybody out there, seek the walls Said, hey, now, seek the walls Everybody out there, seek the Hey, now, seek the walls, everybody out there, seek the walls, hey, now, seek the walls, everybody.
Everybody see the ice wash Not an ounce of sense in that Angus head Shit. Nothing stops an Angus cause he's stupid Come on, man. You got your mind made up and your mind is dumb And now I'm stuck filling out insurance forms I'm sorry You want a boat away to somewhere that you think is real But is it cause you haven't thought it through And cause you haven't got a reason to be questioning yourself Because your narcissistic mind is telling you that everything is all okay it's not. You want a boat away to somewhere that you think is real But is not cause you haven't thought it through And cause you haven't got a reason to be questioning yourself Because your narcissistic mind is telling you that everything is all okay Mind is telling you that everything is all okay. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Hey, now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the walls. Say, hey, now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the house wall. Hey, now, seek the walls. Everybody out there, seek the walls. Hey, now, seek the walls. Everybody, everybody, seek the house wall. Bing, bong, become a legend. Don't waste your money. Legend.